The idea was simply that you ask a person to confront the fear rather than avoid it. So most people with anxiety problems actually tend to avoid their fears and, uh, and develop into a phobia. So the idea was that you'd gra in a graded way you'd uh, confront a fear of say snakes by looking at pictures and videos and maybe eventually you'd see a dead snake or a live snake and over time you get used to it. So we, we saw an opportunity when um, gaming machines came along and people obviously had some sort of um, compulsion um, that the same idea could be used because people with gambling addictions actually have a gambling urge which is very similar to an anxiety problem. It's got, it's got the same physiological symptoms like racing heart and shortness of breath and churning stomach and hair going up the back of the hands and things like that. And the only real difference is the thoughts. So the thoughts with an anxiety disorder would be that thing is dangerous, I've got to avoid it. With gambling and pokey machines, for example, it's the urge. I've got to get to the machines, I've got to put the money in, I've got to win, etc. So what we now ask people to do is to gradually uh, confront a trigger that brings on an urge, starting off from things like pictures of machines, the sound of machines, right through to when they can actually sit in front of a machine with coins or credits on the machine and tolerate the urge and not be able to press the button. That, I mean, originally, I mean, they're tolerating the urge, but eventually if they keep doing that, the urge will go away completely. So the whole idea of exposure is to extinguish the gambling urge. We see these things where people have the gambling problem, <clears throat> they go through our treatment program, they sort the gambling problem out, and then they use the skills they've learnt um, and obviously the, by succeeding in the treatment they actually become empowered and they just take on all sorts of other things in their lives. So it's actually very rewarding for us to see some of these incredible changes. We noticed that people were able to A, pretty simply understand the, the treatment, like the way it should work, and then it's actually like a relatively simple treatment to, to use. People might actually um, Need, they need to do, they need to practice sessions three or four or five times a week. But someone might actually go from being totally addicted to gambling to what I would call virtually cured in six, eight, ten weeks. We would have sort of two, three, four day workshops. We would take someone through the, the treatment model. We'd get them to practice in pairs about how to do an assessment. And then what we call, and I think that one of the critical things is that, which we've underestimated in, in training in the past, is how to deliver uh, what we call a rationale to the patient.